Alright, I'm going to show you if you're on Wi-Fi with your Apple TV and you're having problems uh, getting movies from uh, Ice Films and Channel One. is giving you a loaded, like there's no internet. What you want to do is scroll all the way to the right. You're going to go uh, to Systems. After that, you're going to go down where it says uh, Network. And now, you're going to look to the right. Make sure none of those dots right here, none of these dots all the way down, are blue. Only one that's supposed to be blue is allow programs on the system to control XBMC. That's on. And the other one will be announce service systems right here. That's blue. And then you go down here to where it says internet access. And again, Make sure none of these are blue. Problem when you have in, uh, internet connections with Wi-Fi, uh, there's gonna I think gonna be two here or one here that's gonna be blue. Just turn them all off, and you do that just by clicking to the right, and you and you click the button, the middle button, and you see how it's on. So what you want to do is click on it, hit the middle button, and it's off. <laughs> Also, a lot of y'all been asking uh, how to get ESPN and Amazon. For Amazon, you need a Prime. You need an Amazon Prime account for ESPN. All you need is your username and password. So what you want to do is, uh, when you on uh, videos and stuff, see how it says right here, Amazon. People been asking and ESPN. Well, you gotta go scroll all the way down. Go where it says Get More. Right, then you're gonna find either Amazon or you're gonna find uh, ESPN. Let's find ESPN. See right there, ESPN. Click on it, and what you're gonna do is gonna hit configure. See right here, configure, and go to the right where it says login. And right here where it says enable login, username and password. Put your username and password and also right here, you click on it. Cable provider. Find your cable provider. If it's uh, Time Warner, DirecTV, Verizon Files, stuff like that. And you go down and hit OK and you should be able to... You should be able to log into ESPN. Same thing with Amazon or anything that asks for a password. All right?